Welcome engineers, my name is Travis IQ, and today we're talking initial DEX offerings. Specifically, I'm gonna do a demo live on stream of participating in the Genesis Go IDO. You might know these by ICO, initial coin offerings, or LBPs, liquidity bootstrapping protocols, or just straight liquidity offerings from a liquidity pool that's been set up by the service. That being said, let's get to it, let's explain some concepts, and let's go. actually doing or what is the project actually doing right so the project has a pool of tokens that are minted on Solana it's a part of an SPL contract actually right these are SPL token types and the tokens are then right emitted and paid for right in a, in a or used to emit and pay for services for example in this case and that mechanism of how the tokens are used is called tokenomics Right, and so one of the one of the key components is how does this thing how does this thing work? I'm I'm talking about these in proverbial terms because we're talking about ICOs, IDOs, LBPs, really any number of these things all have a characteristic. Any number of these projects all have a characteristic, right? They're issuing a, a token for some reason. And some of the big some of the big criticisms of some of the earlier ICOs and some token drops and things like that associated with let's say NFT projects or weird projects like this are that there's really no utility to the token, right? And so tokenomics or token utility is really important when considering, you know, putting money into a liquidity pool associated with these tokens. And so what, what you need to do is understand the tokenomics to some extent, why these tokens are useful, and then also what the project's goals are. So in this case, we're talking specifically about a project on, on Solana called Genesis Go. And Genesis Go is a group of technically astute individuals who built an RPC server, which is a, a request server to process requests. They also have built some products in conjunction with some of the other DAOs on the Solana ecosystem. And so they're a, a well-known group of like technically savvy individuals who are trying to put the project together. This means something, right? Because they're trying to put stuff together uh, technically in terms of adding value and that you should support this project by investing in the initial tokens, right? And so I'm not saying that you should in this case, this is all obviously not financial advice and all this stuff, but I'm saying this is the this is the case that, th that this project is making for an initial investment. So they've done all these things, RPC, da DAO, let's say uh, contributions or not even contributions, DAO uh, integrations maybe would be a better word or, or working with. I don't know, something like this, right? They've done these types of things. And the project that they're trying to fund here is actually an extension of the RPC request project, in my opinion, at least, where they're actually taking and trying to build out a database infrastructure for provisioning data from the Solana blockchain. Provisioning data from the chain. What does that mean from the chain? Well, the chain the chain is actually a chain of blocks, right, which is holding data. And we've discussed this in a previous video. Go back and look at my blockchain video. I'll, I'll link it at the end here. And so what the blockchain is, right, is a ledger of all of these transactions. And so in the case of, let's say, a Bitcoin, for example, the entire ledger is downloadable by a single node and you can run your own node with the entire blockchain available to you. That is not the case in Solana and it, and it brings up some very interesting problems. They've patched together a solution to this with Google Big Tables and burning through data utilization, but Genesis Go saw a need in the space and they said, we're gonna do it. And they uh, presented it to the community. The community reacted uh, very positively. And as a result, they decided to go through with this initial token launch here, which is actually going to be, this this token distribution in the IDO is gonna be only a part of the mechanism for the distribution of the tokens. The other part is gonna be associated with the NFT and NFT ownership, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, so this is what is going on. This is why we're doing these things. And to be honest, this mechanism here, regardless of the way that Genesis Go is doing it is this is very similar or is a very similar mechanism through ICOs, LBPs, or even just a straight liquidity pool that's set up that, that can now trade, right? Now, the, the problem with a liquidity pool like that is that it's actually, you know, not particularly fair, I think, right? What are you just going to do? Set up a bunch of tokens, say, hey, give it a shot, see who wants to pay the most for it. It's kind of weird, right? Anyway, and then how do you fairly distribute the information about, you know, when it goes live and these types of things? It's, it's difficult. So what they've done is they've had, they've got a pool mechanism here and you can see the pool mechanism as we pull it up on stream. So let's go, Johnny. So in this IDO, Genesis Go is using locked USDC to contribute to the IDO and then receive the SHDW shadow tokens, which is the token that is being distributed 
as a part of that Genesis Go project that I described previously. And so they're using USDC. It's very common to use a stablecoin to do this. I've done this in DAI or USDC on Solana here. Something to know that USDC, a stablecoin like USDC, is not the same on Ethereum as it is on Solana, right? It's an ERC-20 token on, on Ethereum and it's an SPL token on Solana. And so they're, they are not you know, inter, inter, interchangeable or compatible at this juncture, although they're, they're, we're working on some cross-chain solutions. And by we, I mean the community. So it's something something to think about. So that being said, I need to I need to get USDC, Solana-based USDC. How do I do this? Well, in my case, I'll go purchase some Solana and then I'll come over here and I will swap that Solana on a decentralized exchange, a DEX like Radium. Radium is one of the premier DEXs in the Solana eco ecosystem and I like Radium. So here we are using it. I've got my wallet connected to this Radium swapping functionality and I can swap six Solana, about $1,000 for USDC and that USDC I can then use in a liquidity pool. So I'm going to do that here. Let's swap Solana for USDC using a decentralized exchange or a DEX. So this is one component here. Um, and it depended upon you know, what the IDO or LBP or ICO calls for, you may have to use a swapping functionality like this on whatever base layer you're on. Solana, AVAX, Ethereum, Bitcoin maybe after they introduce after they made the, that change that supports a little bit more a, a little bit more contracting functionality. Anyway. So we've done this. We're going to go to the uh, Genesis Go IDEO website, which is ideo.genesisgo.com. Okay, cool. And we can now select the amount of USDC we would like to deposit. We're gonna disconnect the wallet and connect. We're going to, we're going to connect a, we're going to connect a Phantom wallet. Phantom again being one of my favorite wallets in the Solana ecosystem. My favorite actually. The only problem is it doesn't have a mobile version, but that's coming soon. Maybe maybe once you see this, it actually is already out, but who knows. That being said, we've connected a wallet and we can then see our balance here of $1,000 in USDC and we can then deposit $1,000 in USDC and interact with this contract. And it will give us a warning that says you will lock this $1,000 and you will not you will not have access to it. And those $1,000 will be used to fund the IDO and that IDO will then result in you receiving SHDW or Shadow, which is pretty cool. We'll continue with the with the deposit, approve the transaction, waiting, and the transaction is approved. This is one of the cool things about Solana, right? Is the very quick transaction times as well as low fee transactions, which is significantly improved over block over Bitcoin with long transaction times or Ethereum with significantly high gas fees. The the detraction is what I actually described in the Genesis Go. What Genesis Go is trying to solve, at least to some extent, right, is maybe it's not solving the decentralized issue, but also some of the peripheral some of the peripheral issues associated with the decentralized ledger. And 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 centralization is one of those issues, but Genesis Go isn't actually addressing that one. That being said, we participate in an IDO, we define what an IDO, ICO, or LBP is, we s use some swapping functionality and, and whiteboarded the heck out of it. That's all fun and games, but as is always the case, engineer, break stuff, have fun. I'll be back with more content. Let me know if you like it. Drop a like down below or a comment if you have any questions. I'll answer all that stuff too. Let's go.